Hey everyone, Scott here from Simple Mechanic Advice. Today we're going to look at the Ford engine's fault code P0113. Here's what it means. Fault code P0113 in a Ford engine is a diagnostic trouble code, DTC, that the vehicle's onboard computer generates whenever it detects a voltage surge from the IAT sensor's relay. The fault code typically indicates a malfunction in the sensor or its associated circuits. Here's what causes it. A faulty IAT sensor. When this sensor goes bad, it may relay the wrong voltage back to the PCM, triggering the P0113 fault. Faulty wiring. Damages or corrosion to the IAT sensor-associated circuits may cause voltage surges in the circuit and cause the error to occur. Note, as a thermistor, the IAT sensor may relay 5 volts back to the PCM if the air intake is excessively hot due to extreme external temperatures. However, the code should not always be associated with an overheated engine air intake. Here's how to diagnose it. The initial step for code P0113 diagnosis is to inspect the IAT sensor. Since the sensor is most likely the cause of the error, it is crucial to assess it first for failure from impact, moisture, or extreme temperatures. This inspection may be complicated and confusing. Therefore, seeking a professional's help for an informed diagnosis is advisable. The sensor inspections should be followed by a resistance test to determine if it's faulty. Next, inspect all the IAT sensor-associated wiring and harnesses. Look for signs of corrosion or damage, especially if the sensor wires are routed close to high-temperature or high-voltage cables, like the alternator or spark plug cables. Note. Use an OBD2 scanner to assess the IAT sensor's voltage signals for the current operating conditions to confirm if they are out of the required range. Lastly, here's how to resolve the issue. Replace the IAT sensor if it proved to be faulty from the diagnosis. Replacement of the entire MAF sensor may be necessary if it has incorrect or zero voltage output. Repair any corroded or frayed sections in the sensor's wiring and harnesses. If these issues persist, then you should check your PCM. Thanks for watching.